Memogate was where um, 60 Minutes 2, the weekday version of 60 Minutes, uncovered documents that stated that President Bush basically had gotten out of his military duty because he had connections. Because people pulled strings and he really, you know, goofed off and he didn't do anything. Um, the story hasn't been proven true one way or the other, but we use documents that never could be substantiated. And you can't do that. You can't basically point the finger at a sitting president and say he did something without accurately identifying the documents, you know. And what we had done clearly was, um, you know, I, we, we didn't all do all that we should have done. Let me, let me leave it at that in terms of checking out the documents and, and what happened. So as a result, um, you know, it was an embarrassing moment for CBS. We, we put on basically an unsubstantiated story. Um, a news division whose slogan was news that you can trust. You know, it, it obviously was a time of great, um, there, there's a lot of discord in the country at that point in time. It was right before the uh, election of President Bush in 2004, the re-election, uh, should I say. And, uh, you know, it caused us, it, it, it was a black eye for CBS. No, in the wake of that, um, you, you know, certain people, you know, uh, left the organization. Um, within a year, Andrew Hayward left the organization, who was the head of news and someone who I was, I was good friends with. And I brought in Sean McManus, who had been head of sports and now is head of news and sports, basically for a fresh eye. I felt it needed someone from the outside looking in, changing the perception of CBS News and, uh, you know, Obviously, getting Katie Couric has done that, you know, in, in a certain way and, and, you know, changing how we do the news. 